How's it going Guardians, it's your boy CB here, bring another video, and today guys, I want to talk about the G-Horn nerf that's coming with update 2.0, preparing for the Taken King, and, I mean, the reason why I see it as a necessary nerf, because, I mean, you have to admit, I mean, at the end of the day, most people are really mad that they don't have G-Horn, a lot of people are mad that a lot of people have G-Horn and they still haven't got it, and a lot of people are just mad because they think G-Horn is a cheesy gun, and a lot of people are mad because they love the G-Horn so much, they just don't want to see it a little less powerful than it once was. So, I mean, the reason why I see a necessary nerf for G-Horn is because it is a very overpowered exotic. It's, you know, I mean, you can shred a boss in, give or take, two minutes or less with that gun. It takes no time to kill anything with a G-Horn. A G-Horn makes your day, like, 50 million times easier. And just, I mean, seriously, the gun is really just, it's a cheesy weapon, I gotta admit. I really love it, though. I mean, again, I use it to my advantage. As you guys can see, I've got mine equipped all the time because, again, whenever you're down to getting in a strike or skull loss or something like that, it's just really just the best. It's the best option for a strike or whatever. I mean, just take out a G horn, shoot down the boss, right? But the main reason I think that it does need a nerf is because, again, there's going to be new exotics. There's going to be new exotic heavy weapons and stuff like that. So again, they're going to want to make those relevant, right? I mean, look at Dragon's Breath when that gun came around. A solar damage rocket launcher that shoots a solar flare like it's a warlock grenade, right? The gun has a better blast radius than G-Horn, but it doesn't really add up. I mean, G-Horn has tracking. Dragon's Breath doesn't. Uh, let's see here. Dragon's Breath did have a three-round magazine if you had tripod on it, which is a, a plus. Uh, G-Horn only has a two-round magazine, so again, that's one up for Dragon's Breath, and Dragon's Breath had a higher blast radius. Again, a one up, but if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, Dragon's Breath didn't have a good enough velocity, it didn't have a fast enough reload speed. And again, the solar flare that pops up out of the Dragon's Breath is really just not as good as Wolfpack rounds. I mean, think about it. Wolfpack rounds shred a boss's health down. Not even just The initial blast of the G-Horn does a lot of damage, but the Wolfpack rounds just add a whole bunch more damage stack on top of that. So again, that's what makes it such an effective weapon to use. And I mean, it's really just, it's really just an overpowered weapon. And again, they want to make new exotics that are coming out with the Taken King. If there are any new exotic rocket launchers or anything like that, they want to make them add up to be relevant with this, and I'm pretty sure that's probably why they're nerfing it, but there's also multiple other reasons just besides that. Again, though, they just want to make it irrelevant. They want to make new exotics relevant and stuff like that. Again, and like I said, they want to make the game a little bit more difficult. I mean, again, because if you have a G-Horn throughout the entire, like, 10 years this game's going to be out, I mean, I don't want to be using the same exotic rocket launcher all the way up to the last Destiny. I mean, there's going to be five of them, from what I'm pretty sure of. There's going to be uh, five Comet DLCs. There's going to be all kinds of good stuff coming with the future of this game and I mean I can't wait to get all the way into it but I mean again I don't want to be using the same guns all the way up until the end of Destiny I want to see other guns other exotics come into play I want to see other things like uh, maybe even a primary exotic that's like like the new sought after gun I mean remember at the time when Vex Mythic Class was literally the most overpowered fusion rifle or just primary weapon in the game like if you had a Vex and you went into PvP you would just shred people out the way I mean they even had to nerf the magazine size because 56 rounds in a magazine for like an autom an automatic fusion rifle that was ridiculous that gun was a shredder seriously you could just run through pvp and you could mow everybody down in your way that gun just it did not hesitate to kill anybody i mean it's like the thorn of nowadays i mean thorn we again they're getting that thing's getting a nerf so uh see you later thorn i mean not gonna have to so all the people also yeah all the people using thorn in pvp right now you may think you're good right now because you can use your thorn but <laughs> when taking king comes around all the people who are actually good at the game are gonna outshine you because thorn is a very cheap gun and everybody using it is going to have to get better and use different guns so yeah i can't wait to see thorn get pushed out of the way and new guns come into play because gun diversity is a very unseen thing in destiny at the moment because i mean thorn is literally the go-to weapon i've used it in pvp i gotta admit it's overpowered but i still prefer the last word i mean again a lot of people would say oh you still use last word though it's an exotic hand cannon i might say well the time to kill may be pretty fast but i gotta admit it takes a lot more skill than a thorn and you have to admit that yourself because i've gotten two-shotted by thorn and i am still alive right i go and hide around the corner and what happens tick 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 dead i'm burning away around the corner that's exactly why Thorn is so bullcrap. <laughs> I mean, the gun is such BS because it just takes away your health. But anyway, moving on, the reason why I think G-Horn needs a nerf is because, again, it just, it's it's overpowered. And I gotta admit, I love my G-Horn. I'm glad I got one. I mean, I'm glad I got two. And 
a lot of people out there still haven't got it. I got I'm just gonna say for all you guys out there, it's still an overpowered exotic. It's gonna still be overpowered when the Tank King comes out. I mean, I know you guys are like getting mad, like, like most of you people think that uh, they're gonna be nerfing G Horn to hell. I mean, they're not gonna be nerfing it to hell. It's literally gonna still be an overpowered exotic. I mean, believe it or not, the Wolfpack rounds are still gonna be there. They're still gonna do damage. They're not reducing the base damage of the regular ro the impact. Like the regular rocket that you shoot out of the tube and hit whatever your target is with it. That, they're not reducing the damage of that. They're reducing the damage of the wolf, wolf pack rounds. I don't know how by how much. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, it's still going to do a lot of damage. No matter which way you put it. I mean, it's still going to be an exotic that everybody wants to use and everybody still wants to obtain. It's not going to be a terrible gun to have. It's not going to be something you dismantle because it's like, oh, G-Horn's bad. Now i got to get rid of both of mine. No, it's still going to be a really good and valuable exotic to keep, on, uh, keep hold of. I mean, it's not going to be terrible. It's going to be still very good. Don't... Don't lose faith in Bungie yet. I'm pretty sure they have good plans for it and everything like that. But Icebreaker, again, Bungie, if you're watching this video, why the hell are you even nerfing that gun? It sucks as it is. I mean, all the people out there who use Icebreaker, I really should be like that gun. But really, it's just not a valuable like thing to use. I mean, my supremacy I have, it could just be a bias thing. But I find it is a better gun to use because, again, the impact is good. The rate of fire is great. Icebreaker has a good rate of fire and impact and everything like that but it just takes too dang long to get full ammo again seriously six rounds an icebreaker can be shredded away in like what five seconds and i mean seriously it takes like 30 seconds to fully regenerate all that ammo when i could just go out and kill some things and get 25 rounds of my, my my supremacy and i would have all my ammo back in no time and i could just keep doing that over and over again in special ammo i could pick that up even if i run out so literally, I get more ammo for my regular sniper than I would an icebreaker. So again, it's really just more overpowered, and or it's really just an un underpowered weapon as it is. I mean, icebreaker is not that good. A lot of people see it as a very great exotic. It's like the G horn of sniper rifles, but I'd have to d disagree with that. It's really good as a solar damage sniper. Yes, I gotta admit, it's really good. It's got really good range. It looks it looks really good, but I mean, it's really underpowered. But again. G Horn, I do see a nerf necessary. I know a lot of people would disagree, but again, it's not going to be nerfed to hell. It's just going to be nerfed where the Wolfpack rounds do a lot, a little bit less damage. I mean, again, because <laughs> if you are if you're watching this video and you think that the Wolfpack rounds don't do enough damage, or you think they're great where they're at, and that it's not an overpowered weapon, then I don't know what to tell you. Because I mean, I the way I've seen it, I've played this game since day one. I've known. The struggle without a G horn. I know how it is to have a G horn. I know this game both ways, without and with a G horn. And I gotta admit, with a G horn, this game is five million times easier than it is without one. So, again, I see G horn as a necessary nerf, uh, reducing the damage of Wolfpack rounds is a very good idea. I gotta admit, again, the uh, the rocket launcher is still gonna be overpowered. Either, no matter which way you put it so yeah they're not going to be nerfing it to hell they're not going to be turning it into the next servos okay guys they're not going to be making it the new auto rifle okay there's not they're not going to make it that bad they're going to make it a, a little bit less than what it is but they're not going to make it that bad and again there's also a secret exotic perk that my friend has told me uh my friend twide actually told me he's like every exotic has a secret perk on it and for g-horn it's grenades and horseshoes <laughs> That's the secret perk on there. So, I mean, again, it's got tracking, grenades and horseshoes, and wolf pack rounds, and not to mention solar damage and can burn down any boss in less than, uh, like, a minute. So, I mean, that is a very overpowered rocket launcher. Like, seriously, if you don't believe me with the grenades and horseshoes, go to some enemies in the Cosmodrome, shoot your G-Horn away from them, but still near them, and you'll see it explode, like, when it's at, uh, in proximity. You know, it'll blow up next to them, but it won't pass them up. It, you'll see what I mean. But again, secret perk, grenades and horseshoes, tracking, wolf pack rounds. I mean, I do see a necessary nerf for G-Horn. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I was going on a little too much and rambling about G-Horn and how I do think the nerf is necessary. So yeah, guys, tell me what you think down in the comments down below of this patch. And uh, yeah, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. And peace out, Guardians.